What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we are going to be looking at how to find the place value of large numbers. Numbers all the way to 1 million. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. So the thing we're going to remember today is that we can group numbers into sets of three. That's going to really help us understand the place value of these numbers. And we're also going to use a place value chart to help us. So if we look at this green chili challenge, I can see I have the number 45,832. So if I was to draw my place value chart, I would have my ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and in this case, I'd need ten thousands. Okay, and now I can just start to put my numbers in place. So my two would go into my ones column, three would go into my tens, the eight into my hundreds, five into my thousands, and the four into the ten thousands. Okay, now let's focus on things that we should be able to learn from putting it into this place value chart. Well, I said that we can group numbers into sets of three. So what we need to remember is that the ones column always starts our set of three. So if I was to count one, two, three, I could put a comma just here, and that would separate this group of three numbers from the next group of three. Now there's only two here, but there could be a third. And what we've done by separating this number with that comma is we've separated the thousands from just the hundreds. Now when I read my number, I could say that I have 45,000, and then I can just look at my 832 to complete my number. So I've got 45,000, 832. So that's the first use of our place value chart to help us actually read the number. But what else can we learn from this chart? Well, we need to know that every column is 10 times larger than the last. So if we had, for example, this 2 in the 1's column, it obviously has a value of just 2. But if I moved it into the 10's column, then this now has a value of 20, or in other words, 2 times 10. Then if I moved it into the 100 column, it would be another times 10, so therefore the 20 would become 200. So we need to know that everything in the column to the left is 10 times larger. Therefore, if we can think back to what we know about multiplication and division, if everything to the left is 10 times larger, what that means is that everything to the right must be 10 times smaller, or in other words, divided by 10. For example, if I have a 5 in the thousands column, but I want to move it into the hundreds column, it would be divided by 10. There was 5,000, now there's 500. 5,000 divided by 10 equals 500. And that's what the value of this 5 is in the hundreds column. Now let's have a look at this red chili challenge. And you'll notice I'm going to leave my comma in place because it's always going to be one, two, three places away from my ones. And therefore that comma will always live between the hundreds and the thousands. Okay, so now looking at the red chili challenge, we now need to start putting this number into our place value chart. I can see I have one, one, so the one will go into the ones column. I have two, tens, I have nine hundreds, two thousands, eight ten thousands, and now we need another column. So if we had ten thousands here, and we know that the next column is ten times larger, what is ten times larger than ten thousand? Well, ten times larger than ten would be a hundred. So it would be a hundred thousand in this column here. So the 9 would come all the way across into my 100,000 column. Now I have my number in place, I can use this comma that we now know lives here to help me understand and be able to say this number. So I'm going to group everything in front of my comma into a group of three, and I'm simply just going to say what I can see. I can see 982, and then because this is in the thousands block, I'm going to call it thousands. 982,000, and then my second block is 921. So I have 982,921. So just because this is a bigger number, and we actually have something in the 100,000s column, 
doesn't make this process any harder to understand. All it meant is that we had to set up a brand new column with a hundred thousands. And if we analyze our place value chart here, we can understand why. The first column is the ones, and the first column of the second block is the thousands. And then the second column is tens, and the second column of the second block is ten thousands. Because remember, this is the thousands block. Third column is hundreds, and therefore the third column of this thousands block would be hundred thousands. So hopefully we can see that relationship. Okay, so what to remember about place value of large numbers? Well, we can group numbers into groups of three. And when we group numbers, we must start from the ones, and we can use a comma to separate these groups. We also need to remember that everything to the left of the column you're looking at is times 10, and everything to the right would therefore be divided by 10. So your turn. Can you put these two numbers here into place value charts? Can you put the commas in the right place? And can you say this number? Put your answers in the comment section. I'm going to mark them all. And there we have it. That is understanding the place value of large numbers. If this video has been helpful, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to see every single British UK curriculum statement with a video to explain how to do it. That's going to make you a maths legend. But for now, guys, thanks very much for watching. Peace out.